What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. We are out here on the home pond this morning and I am competing in our final kayak tournament of the season. This is our championship and uh, I'm excited. And I'm also nervous. I don't, I don't know, I always get nervous during tournaments and before tournaments and especially the time leading up to it. Uh, I didn't sleep much last night. Um, just the, you know, the thought of it being out here on the home lake, it just makes me happy. This is, this is probably gonna be the last fishing tournament I get to fish out here in quite some time unfortunately but i'm hoping that we go out today with a bang um right now as it sits i'm currently leading in angler of the year points and i'm also leading in the heavy hitters division um and man it's it's a it's a cool feeling but it just makes it that much more uh, nerve-wracking uh, so i came out here and i practiced earlier in the week and i found some fish um i think i found some winning fish honestly um, but i have one problem i was making my way out there to that spot this morning and um, as I got out there, I was actually shooting an intro. Gunshots are going off crazy. Apparently some, uh, some duck hunters slash goose hunters um, made, made it out there to that spot or somewhere between me and the spot that I'm trying to fish this morning before I did, which is fine. Um, this is opening weekend of teal season here in Arkansas. Um, I've been out here, you know, just kind of checking around. There's not really any teal out here right now, so I'm hoping that they realize that soon and they get off the water. And honestly, that spot that I'm trying to fish isn't really a great morning spot. It's more of an afternoon area, so um, really it's best for me to kind of leave it alone until kind of midday when the sun gets up and the fish get moving. That'd be crazy. Um, so in the meantime, I'm out here just kind of messing around these flats. It kind of, kind of messed up my plan a little bit because I was planning on just kind of staying in the channel area out there um, all day. But in the meantime, I'm out here on these flats. I'm gonna try to catch some fish. I brought some stuff um, in case I needed to fish out here. There's obviously a lot of vegetation around, but it's very low. You know, this lake is draining as we speak. Um, they opened up a second gate, so the water is really dropping now. It's probably gonna have the fish all messed up. The fish that I'm, I found earlier this week, they could be completely gone, and that wouldn't be good for me because it's like all I have <laughs> to fish. We're gonna have to kind of make it up as we go, but hopefully we'll get on some fish. I'm just looking for five decent ones. Maybe a giant mixed in, maybe three giants, I don't know. <laughs> It'd be cool to win, but I just really want to have a solid finish out here on the home lake. So I'm going to get after it. I've been out here for like an hour already, just kind of fishing. Uh, it was kind of cold this morning, not really anything going on. But I'm out here on this flat now. I'm going to fish around and then uh, hopefully make it over there to the juicy spot here in just a moment. So guys, hopefully you're excited to tune into this one. If y'all are, do me a huge favor. Hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and let's see what we get into today. Let's go. Fish on. Tiny little guy. Here we go, fish on. Not big, but we'll take it. Here we go, okay. Number two, I can't believe it. <laughs> Got that one on a drop shot. It's not what I thought I was gonna be throwing, but um, there's a boat that already came through here, which I wasn't expecting to happen either. So I decided to kind of downsize. I had a bite on my big worm, um, but I missed him. So I threw that drop shot in there and we got fish number two. A little bigger than fish number one, but not much bigger. 11 and a quarter. That's a big bass. That's a bass. Good bass. Stay on. better on the freaking drop shot i swear if i catch my limit on a drop shot i'm gonna be disappointed in myself that's a good one if i can get five of these i'll feel good i'll feel like really really decent all right 14.75 we will take it peace out oh flip over 
You got stuck on the way down. Got you, little guy. Stay on there. I know you ain't big, but I need you. Oh, get off that. Come here. Got you. I don't know what happened there. Oh, the oh. Oh, that's weird. All right, we got another fish. I'm getting really hot. I have this hoodie on. And I told myself I wasn't taking my hoodie off until I caught another fish. I was gonna have to suffer. It's a little guy. It's a little guy. This is number four. We're one away from a limit, and a limit's really just gonna help ease my nerves a little bit. I'm feeling feeling confident. I'm feeling really confident in the area. I'm getting bites. Um, I know that there's some big ones that live here. Just gotta weed through them a little bit. Twelve incher baby. Let's send it back. Nice one. Nice one, number five. Number five. Get in here. All right, we got a limit, baby. 13.75 on this little large mouth. That's a limit. It's a limit for about, <laughs> I don't even think it's 60 inches. <laughs> but we can climb, we got all day. We're out here in our spot. They're biting, we're making it work. Let's get another one. There we go. That's a better one. And these fish are stacked right there. That's the biggest one of the day right there. That's a good one. That's a good one. Oh yeah. They are stacked. I just gotta soak it. I think I was working it a little too fast. You gotta soak that bad boy down there. He might be our biggest. That's a good one though, I'll take it. Another 14 and a half incher, I'll take it. I'll take five of those and then we can get the big boys. We're gonna run into some good ones. I promise we are. I know we are. This spot is too good to not run into some good ones. Get another 14 and a half incher. We'll release them back here in the pads. I mean, we've caught all these fish just in this one little spot. This is one of the best spots. I would say the best spot is up there. So, I mean, just go back and forth. Eventually, that boat's going to leave, I would think. And we're, we're out here till 3. So, feeling good. Be big, be big, be decent. Come on, come on. That's a coal, barely. <laughs> He's a little fatty. All right. He's chubby, but small. 11 and three quarters. I should, should I let him go in the stump? That'd be so mean, I would never do that. Stay on, this is a good one. This is a good one. This is a good one. Decent one. Helps the cause. He makes the team. Let's go, baby. Let's go. I was just about to say that I need to go get anchored up on some grass because this is an area where I really want to spend some time fishing. Man, there's a big wake associated with him. 14 and a half incher, baby. We'll take it. It's not the 17 or 18 we want, but we'll take it. That gets rid, that gets rid of like a 12 incher, so not too bad. And like I said, the first goal was to get a limit of, you know, them 14 to 15 inch fish. So we're on our way.
big one. That's a big one. That's a big one. That's a big one. Get out of those pads. Stay on there. Oh, please stay on. Get up here. Yeah, baby. Oh, I thought it was bigger. I'm telling you, it's so shallow when they wake like that. They look so big, but that's a nice one. That is a nice one. I can't believe I pulled out those pads. I was about to go get him. Glad I didn't have to because I, I bet you there's more over there. Let's go! 14.75. We'll send him back. That's a decent one. He bit that thing on the fall. I'm gonna pull up here on this grass. I don't think he helps me. I need to call a 13.75. I bet he's barely 13. And if that one there does not help, he's 12 and a half inches. Okay. We finally have this whole area to ourselves now. So we're just gonna keep grinding it out. Hopefully a big one decides to bite if there's any big ones left in here. There we go. Be big. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Stay on. That is my guy. That is my guy. Get in here. Let's go, baby. That's a chunk. They're so thick. I wish they were a little longer, but I'll take it. He's probably 16. I wish he was 17, but I gotta say, I will 100% take this right now. Oh, yeah, baby. The big ones are starting to bite. That's the biggest one of the day. 16 and a quarter. He's almost 16 and a half. I'm gonna check my picture and see if he is 16 and a half, but he's, he's definitely 16 and a quarter. Five of these and we got something going. Okay guys, it's getting down to the nitty gritty. We have an hour and a half left. That's gonna be a good up, that's gonna be a good upgrade for us. And I've decided to abandon the worm and we're gonna chatterbait it out the last hour and a half. All right, that one's 15.25, definitely gonna help us out. It's at least an inch. Uh, I've been meaning to give y'all a midday update for a while. Haven't had any bites for a while until I just caught that fish on the chatterbait. Worm bite's dead, guys. I fished all through all this and I feel like I maxed it out. Um, I just checked this, the leaderboard. I'm in sixth place. I think I'm in fifth place now with that fish. Um, but first place is only like five inches ahead of me. And I mean, that's just a matter of catching like two decent fish. We have an hour and a half left to fish. The wind's kind of picked up. Um, so I just decided just to cover a bunch of water and I'm gonna throw the chatterbait. I'm still back here in the creek. I actually had a bite on the chatterbait over here a minute ago, or a little bit ago. So I'm glad that I decided to come back in there and throw it out there against just a little jackhammer with a six inch juggle in the back of that thing. That juggle minnow is deadly as a trailer, but yeah, that's what you're gonna be see, seeing me do for the next little bit, probably the rest of the day, like I said. Um, we're just gonna go crazy and see if we can't run into a couple of nice ones. Guys, freaking dang it. Today, 
was a grind. I caught a lot of fish, but I just did not catch the ones that I needed, and that sucks. I put this thing in sport mode. I went crazy with the chatterbait. I thought I was videoing all this, but uh, I'm not sure when my camera shut off, they ran out of battery. But I caught like five or six, maybe seven. Probably caught seven bass on the chatterbait here in the last like 45 minutes. They were all just 13 inches, 13 inches, 14 inches, 13 inches, 14 inches. It was like, oh. But even if I had caught an ice one, it really wouldn't have mattered. I needed a few good ones. But as it sits right now, I'm in seventh place out of like, how many people fish today, like 25? So that's not very good. It's not very good. I think that I lost everything. <laughs> I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. We're gonna uh, we're gonna go to the length in. We're gonna take this kayak back to the ramp, put our crap up, go to the length in, and and uh, see where things shake out. But it was not a very good performance. Again, caught fish. Just the, the right ones did not bite. So yeah, I'm a little defeated, but I still had fun. I uh, caught, like I said, a lot of fish. I probably caught 25 fish today, maybe more. And it's just so weird that, I mean, any other day fishing in this lake, if I catch 25 fish, three of them are gonna be like four pounders, several three pounders, and then, you know, some two pounders. Today it was like, how many two pounders did I catch? Two, I think I caught two two pounders all day. Brutal, absolutely brutal. I still love this lake and I'm sad that they're draining it. But man, did me dirty. I'll see you guys when I see you. All right guys, we are back. We're here at the house. It's obviously late and we have a good bit to talk about. So let me fill you in on how um, the length in went. So as I expected, I did not maintain my position in both the angler of the year or heavy hitters and I obviously didn't win either. Um, so that's that's a pretty big bummer. You know, I had pretty high expectations for myself fishing out here on the home lake. You know, I know this lake like the back of my hand, especially on this end, you know, that I live on. Um, and I just, you know, I had a good feeling about it. I had a good practice and I thought I was going to sack them up. And although I was able to catch a bunch of fish, I just never got that kicker bite. I really didn't get any good bites. I caught two fish over two pounds all day long out of like the, you know, 20 plus fish. So that's crazy. Um, I can't think of a day that I've had out here like that. So, but yeah, but overall though, still had a great time. Um, yeah, man, I'm just kind of been thinking about it all afternoon. Like that's probably my last fishing tournament out here for a very long time, unless some random thing pops up because the lake is going down so fast. I didn't expect the lake to be draining this fast. This end of the lake that I fished on, like those flats that I was kind of fishing in the morning, they are so shallow. Like they're like less than a foot deep. It's crazy. Um, and that's kind of what I was thinking. Like I go out in that creek channel, it's the only part of the lake on this end that has, you know, a good bit of water. And I thought they'd all just suck in there. And I, I think there is a bunch of fish in there. I just think that the big ones might have pushed another section that I wasn't fishing or they were just tight lipped because we had a cold front come through and just, you know, that, that extra gate being open and the water dropping so fast could just had them kind of locked up. But um, the guys still managed to catch some good ones over here. So that's on me, not figuring it out. And again, big congrats to those that did catch some good ones out there on the lake today. But again, I'm just, I'm so sad that uh, we're not gonna get to fish tournament out here next year or the next year after that. It's just, it's a bummer, you know, just, really really wish that there was an alternative and that we that the lake didn't have to be completely empty and then we didn't have to lose all our fish but that's another video another story for another time um let's get back to talking about the tournaments kayak tournament season it was a great season um had some good finishes had some bad finishes but they were all fun and they all helped me grow and improve as an angler and i'm looking forward to the next season with that in mind, I actually do have another tournament coming up in a couple of weeks. It's the state championship. It's a two-day event. I fished that tournament last year and did well. Um, we're fishing on a different lake this year that I don't really like that much, but we'll go out there and try to rip some lips anyway. So be on the lookout for that. That should be going down in, I think, three weeks from right now. Anyways, thank you guys so much for the support um and for watching all these kayak tournament fishing videos i really enjoy making them it's like i need that sort of outlet in my life so thank you guys so much for watching the video that is going to wrap up today's adventure and wrap up our regular 
kayak tournament fishing season. I hope that y'all enjoyed joining along with me along the way. If y'all did, do me a huge favor, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and we will see ya on the next one. Bye guys.